I converted 100K from my traditional IRA to a Roth IRA on 10th of January, 2022. The conversion falls in my 24% tax bracket, so I owe Uncle Sam 24,000 in taxes. I've yet to pay these taxes and want to avoid any penalties since I'm going to pay the taxes from the traditional IRA funds. Um, and the market is currently not doing so well. I prefer to wait until later in the year before I pay them, but am concerned about potential penalties for late payments of taxes. Can I pay the 24,000 plus the tax from the additional withdrawal to pay them on December 31st, 2022? Do I have to make quarterly payments or do I have to pay the $24,000 right now? That's uh, Luis from Plant City, Florida. I looked that up to see if it was true and it is actually a place and it's outside of Tampa. Yeah, Plant City. Yep. It's a great place. You know about it oh, since sure. you, you used to live in Florida. I know, love Plant City. Yeah. So, uh, Luis, the, the answer is since you did the conversion on in January, you got to pay one quarter of the tax, just like we talked about in, in your first estimate and your second estimate, you do one quarter. So in other words, $6,000 a quarter, 6,000 April 15th, 6,000 June 15th, then September 15th and January 15th of 2023. That's what you're supposed to do. If you don't do that, then you get charged interest. And the IRS charges a 3% interest rate, which isn't all that bad. So let's, let's say, what if you didn't do the April payment and you waited all the way till you filed your return the following year? Well, that's $6,000 at 3% for one year. So that's 180 bucks. So it's, it's, it's not nothing, but it's also not, it's not a game changer, right? So I, I wouldn't worry too much about it. The second payment in June, if you don't pay that one on time, then it's 10 months at 3%. So maybe that's 150 or 160, something like that. Yeah, I, I guess a, a couple of things is that what concerns me about his question is he must be 100% equities, yes. right? And he's converting up to the 24% tax bracket. Yes. And he's also taking money out of his retirement account to pay the tax. That concerns me too. So there's, you know, so there's a, a few red flags here that Luis is doing. Usually when you convert, you need to have money set aside outside of your retirement plans uh, accounts because you wanna use that to get the maximum amount of the Roth. A better way to do this would have been to convert, let's say 75,000, right? If you had to pay the tax out of your IRA and the other 25,000 goes to the government. So you're, you've already done it. So a, a few things to look at here is, so he converts 100,000, the market tanks. And he's like, well, I don't want to sell any of the shares and, right. and take the distribution and pay the tax on shares that are a lower price uh, because it's a double whammy, right? So he's down, let's say 10% on the stock price. Then he takes it out and he's got to pay 24% tax on that. I mean, if you add all of this up, this conversion cost him a lot more than the 24% tax bracket. Yes, I agree. Because just the tax on the 24,000 that he has to take out is what, 6,000 bucks. Well, you add that to the yeah. 24. And that'll be taxed at 33%. <laughs> yeah, depending <laughs> on- Next bracket. Right? right. So be careful when, you, when you're doing this. You, you want to make sure that you understand, okay, well, if he has no other assets and he has millions of dollars in a retirement account, you know, then it might make sense because you have to look at what your effective tax rate is because pulling money out of a retirement account to pay the tax on the conversion could be a great idea or it could be an awful idea if you don't really understand the numbers. Right. Right. And I would say for the majority of people, do not pay the tax out of your IRA. It's, yeah. it's not it's 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 generally a pretty poor idea. Yes, I would say there majority. Are, there are exceptions. It's, yeah, the majority is right. Right. Because, uh, and look at it like this. If, if I paid, simple math, $100,000, 24% of that. Yeah. Right. So I owe $24,000. So I pull another $24,000, assuming that $24,000 stays in that bracket. Right. So then I pay 24% on that 24, 24. grand. Yeah. Right. So what is that about? Another six grand. Yeah. Six grand. Yeah. So he's paying $30,000. Right. So then, the hundred thousand dollar conversion cost him thirty thousand dollars in tax. So if he's assuming he's in the twenty four percent tax bracket, he's actually paying at a thirty yeah, percent rate. But then he has to pay twenty four percent of the six thousand that he withdrew to pay the tax on the twenty four. <laughs> exactly. So you got to pay tax on the tax that you withdraw to pay the tax. To pay the tax. And actually, it's the thirty three percent bracket now. So right, the the, the tax man will will get you. Uh, so we congratulate you for trying to do some proactive planning to put yourself in a lot better position, but sometimes the planning that people are doing actually hurts them than, than helps them.
Are you prepared for retirement? Schedule a free financial assessment with an experienced financial professional right online at purefinancial.com.